Hello, Aquarius, and welcome to Intuitive Clarity with yours truly, Allison Nichols. <clears throat> Aquarius, as always, this is going to be a general tarot reading for the month of October. So if it doesn't resonate with you, always check out your moon and rising sign. While I'm shuffling the cards, Aquarius, I'd like to invite you to please check out the Intuitive Clarity Candle Boutique, and that is, link is below, along with a discount code for my YouTube followers and subscribers and anyone viewing. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to keep it forever. Um, and that is kind of my thank you to all of you for being so gosh darn loyal. So definitely check it out. I'm getting ready to post the new fall um, scents in some novelty containers that my grandson and I picked out. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I should have those posted, okay, by the end of September is my goal. All right, so let's see what's going on with Aquarius for the month of October. And of course, I will be doing numerology, clarification, and I do use several decks. So um, I'm going to start off with my um, tarot deck that I created, The Fairy's Journey, and you can definitely purchase that on the link below. All right, so let's do some numerology here. Nine. Okay, uh, Aquarius, you're going into the month of October with the energy of nine. Nines are all about endings. Ones are about beginnings. You can't have beginnings without endings and vice versa, right? And endings don't have to be um, negative. It could be uh, retirement. It could be you're paying off your mortgage, right? Um, completing school and, and moving on to your career. So endings are always um, quite positive. Sometimes they are blessings in disguise. So let's see what the clarification is all about. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so on week one, Aquarius, I do get my Four of Pentacles. She's out of the fairy's journey. And I got a reverse. And I do have uh, the lightning bolt as one of the clarifications. Of course, we're going to do more clarification. Um, but with my Four of Pentacles, she is all about stability, right? Um, when she's straight up. Reversed, it's feeling a bit unstable or something happens um, with my lightning bolt that um, causes a bit of chaos or it could be you decide that you need to throw a shock um, out there and maybe mix some things up um, and, and change some things up. And it might cause or feel a bit unstable, unstable at first. But it could be exactly what you need. We'll do some more clarifications. That's week one. Now, week two, I do get my five of uh, pentacles straight up. And I get my heart reversed. Okay, so on week two, remember I said there could be a sudden shock to your stability um, on that first week. Week two, you might um, not be feeling quite as financially stable, all right, as maybe you did in the month of September going into October, okay, and it could cause a, a bit of heartache, all right, um, but it doesn't mean that it's like a detriment. Um, it, this could just be a little hiccup, a little blurb going on. Um, week three, I do get my eight of wands, but it's reversed, all right? So it's not a lot of action going on, not a lot of communication. It could just be a flatline um, week where not much is happening. That's not a big deal. I do have my dog um, reversed, which straight up he's loyalty. Um, and reversed, it could be you might be changing up where your loyalty falls in this third week. You might decide that you've been putting out more than you're giving in or getting back, I mean. 
um, with someone that you felt that you had been loyal to. And this could just be coming, you know, um, to surface this third week. Of course, we'll do more clarification. Week four is interesting. I do get my Ace of Pentacles, which is a new financial opportunity, but it's reversed. But I do get the sun, okay? Things are starting to come out, um, coming to the light, I suppose, is what I want to say, um, when it comes to financial opportunities for you. So if there, if you were um, kind of like flatlined as far as new opportunities coming to you, whether that is how you make your money, um, how money is being created in some way, or new opportunities coming your way, things are going to start to come to the light about that. So that is a real positive um, card on top of that. So I do see a real positive outcome here, but let's go ahead and do some more clarification and see where we're at. I think you are going to throw in a sudden surprise um, or, or a shock on that first week. I don't think it's going to be something out of nowhere that is out of your control on that first week. Um, that second week, Aquarius, you know, even though you might not feel like you, um, you might not be feeling real abundant, uh, but I don't see it as, like I said, I really don't see it as something, no, it's not. It's not something, no, it's not something that lingers. Not at all. This is great. Okay. On week one, I get my temperance. Beautiful. I get balance. I get harmony. I get um, um, balance, harmony. And if you look at this, and patience is what I wanted to say. Okay. So I believe even though there is a bit of a shock to your um, uh, stability, it's going to balance things out. Remember, we were talking about a nine energy Aquarius, which are endings, okay? Um, so it, it's going to balance things out for you. This could be, you could have been just sitting real tight, right? And um, not wanting to make changes, not wanting to, up to upset the apple cart. Maybe that's what needs to be done in order to um, have more balance, have more harmony, okay? Um, I, I believe it's, it's exactly what you might have needed, especially if you haven't been going out and about or, or meeting new people or whatever. That might be exactly what you need to have happen in order to create um, a more uh, balance in your personal life and your um, how you feel about things, how you look at things. Because week two, I get my Knight of Cups, okay, which he is bringing in news of positive emotion, all right, positive emotional support. He's also moving forward. He is slow, my, my King of, or I'm sorry, my Knight of Cups, he moves very slow. He moves very steady. He doesn't, he's not like the knight of fire where he's, or swords, where he is charging. Not at all. He's very slow. He's very steady. Okay. So even though you might be feeling less prosperous um, emotionally, because I do believe this is very emotional, um, in week two, it you, you're coming back into your um, self again here. So this is beautiful because look at this. We've got temperance. We've got um, patience. We've got harmony. We've got balance, right? And he is moving nice and slow. So you are slowly coming back into your own again, which is beautiful. Um, week three, I do get the five of swords reversed, okay? Whoever you feel was not loyal to you, um, you see right through it. Okay. Um, if you felt like you were giving out more than you were getting back, all right, this is week three. And, um, you are going to bring that to the surface. Okay. Um, it's going to become clear. So, you know, you're not going to let them get away with it is what I'm telling you. Uh, you're going to stand your ground. 
Aquarius. So that is week three. Good for you. All right, week four. Nice. I get the six of wands, which is my victory card, and it is reversed. Okay. That's fine. Um, because I do see the sun here. So I see a happy ending with this um, fourth week. Okay. So whatever this opportunity is that you thought you would have or that you thought was a good opportunity, um, you realize it's really not, and it becomes quite clear to you that it's not. And even though this is a reversed victory card, it's actually a kind of a blessing in disguise. Um, it is a victory in disguise because it it becomes quite clear to you that this opportunity here is not necessarily an op a good opportunity for you. So I believe you're able to avoid um, making a, a huge mistake, uh, Aquarius, which congrats, the, good for you. You thought it through, you saw through it, um, you were not fooled. And I believe that that is bleeding over from week three. Uh, so that's fabulous. And you are moving ahead strong and steady those first two weeks, which is why I think you have so much clarity going into the last couple weeks of the month, Aquarius. So good. Let's do one last clarifying card. And then I'll do three more cards to see how you're feeling going into the month of November already. Holy cow. It's been a fast year for you. It's been an incredibly fast year for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, my love. Okay, so I get the letter, um, and this is messages coming to you, okay, which is quite interesting. So, or if it's not coming to you, it's messages you're sending out. Remember, we're doing a, a sudden shock, okay? There's a sudden shock to your stability here or to your maybe not stability, but to how you are thinking about things, um, whether it's about your security, whether it's about your home, um, how you're making your money, whatever, you decide that you want to turn some things upside down, okay, which is creating more balance in your life, and I believe you're going to send that message out there. You, I believe you're the one who actually is going to send the message, all right? It's not someone that's going to shock you. I believe you're going to be the one who um, does the shocking, all right? But you got control. That's all that matters. And then we get the eye, um, the watchful eye reversed, okay? So that is on top of um, a, a new emotional um grand opportunity coming to you okay so i believe it's while you're not looking that this or you're not seeing this um necessarily very clear quite yet um but if you want to turn this around you might need to just pay more attention that second week okay because it might not be because you still might be feeling a little emotionally depleted here um clearly all right it's coming back all right um you just might not see it so um your strength emotional strength um and mental clarity is coming back to you you just might not be quite aware of it is what i want to say nothing negative about that very positive um remember i said there was somebody that you um realized that they were getting more from you than you were um, getting from them. This has been a, a committed relationship. I get my bride, but I get a reverse. And it doesn't have to be a marriage. It doesn't even have to be a love relationship. It could just be someone that you're emotionally attached to, that you've been committed to. All right. Um, and I, I believe you're, you're going to start to see um, what happens when you throw the shock out there, all right? 
when you on the first week. I believe this is where it's all kind of starting to come together. All the pieces are coming together for you because they're realizing that they cannot get away with it. So it's going to change up how this relationship works is what I want to tell you on week three. Week four, there's some family quarrels. All right. So there are some arguments, I believe, um, over you choosing not to take this opportunity, okay? Um, you seeing the light about it not necessarily being the best thing for you, okay? Um, the family, whoever you consider family, they don't have to be blood. Sometimes your friends are your family, right? Your work associates can be your family. It's a separate kind of family. Um, however, you are choosing to do what's best for you. They might not like it. So be it. You do you, okay? Um, that's fine because this is a sunnier outcome than what this is. So you're seeing through it is what I want to tell you. Also, the um, negative response that you get from your family members, whoever they may be, you're seeing through that response. You're seeing through it as being more of a selfish response. Um, so you're kind of onto them, and which is a good thing. It's a positive thing. Um, and remember, we were talking about some endings. So this is truly, this month truly ends the way you handle some of your relationships. But it is for your own betterment, okay? It is for what is best for you. And when it all shakes up, Aquarius, that's what you always need to do, okay? Um, it's not selfish to do what's best for you. It's just not. Um, because if you are down, then the people who depend on you, um, that's not necessarily best for them because then you're not there for them. You can't be there for them. So that is the month of October. Yes, there's some surprises. Yes, there's some upsets. But, you know, you are moving forward. You are moving on. This is a big growing opportunity, um, a, a big emotional growing opportunity. You might choose to, this particular month, you might choose to cut some people out of your life too um, that really aren't necessarily there for you as much as you were there for them. That's just the way it goes, right? So you have to see through that and do what's best for you, Aquarius. Hey, Aquarius. Sorry. Um, somehow I got cut off at the end. So this is the last part of your video. <laughs> I love, I could not be more sorry. Um, so anyway, um, I want to look at the, um, how you're feeling going into the month of November. I don't know what happened, but I am sorry. Okay. So let's pull three cards and see what is going on going into the month of November. All right. Aha. Okay, makes perfect sense. Um, so I do get the Four of Swords straight up. I do get my Two of Pentacles reversed, and I also get my Three of Pentacles reversed, which is quite interesting. So going into the month of November, it looks like you put yourself going into a bit of more of a resting period. You're starting to um, rethink things going into November. And you're there again with my Two of Pentacles reversed. You're going to upset the apple cart. There, you've already, apple cart, you have already made your decision. Okay, about how you want to move forward. You're just kind of resting and waiting for you to be able to move forward. Um, there are some folks that I do believe you're going to decide that, um, you know, maybe not necessarily cut them out of your life, but not necessarily be as close to them is what I want to say, um, which is in the end is best for you. It actually gives you a little bit of relief knowing that this is the direction you're going to want to go in. All right, Aquarius, that is what I have for you <laughs> for the month. I'm not even quite sure how to splice these together. I might have to have my grandson help me with this one. Um, 
anyway, that's what I have for you. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it um, as much as I have reading them for you. Uh, just kind of everything that you're doing in the month of October is what's best for you. Do you, boo? Um, any questions, gosh, email me and I'll be more than happy to schedule a private reading for you if you're interested in that. Check out the Candle Boutique. I would love, love, love to send you some false scents. And until we meet again in November, I am always sending loving energy your way, Aquarius. Bye-bye.